Hello everybody. I'm sniping as fun. And um, I'm back to be doing some videos actually now. Um, I've been busy with school lately and so on and so forth. And if you've all been paying attention to my other channel, TomBCap151, which is my school channel, you've been noticing I've been doing work for that. But I've hardly at all been doing any videos for this channel lately except for the five guys in the game Pie Hard trailer that was actually schoolwork. And my like two end of nation titan trons that I've been doing. Which there are gonna be more of those, just to let you know, you guys out there. There's gonna be more of those. Eventually, when I get back into school and everything. Cause I, I did those basically in After Effects and everything, and I don't have any of those programs at my house. Um, but that, um, but like I said, I'm gonna hopefully be doing some more videos from now on, especially over this break. I have two weeks break before I go back to my spring classes. And I'm going to hopefully get and catch up with a few other things. And I do have a few videos planned out that are either going to be up tonight, which is Monday, or tomorrow, which is Tuesday. I'm doing them right now, but yeah. Um, the first video I'm going to talk about, though, is the idea of a Nintendo versus Capcom. This idea has been tossed around a lot lately. People, I've been seeing a ton of videos on YouTube of people that want it, and then actually people that don't want it, and these rants of people that don't want it, and people that do want it, and a lot of roster prediction kind of things. And people, I heard people talking about it on IGN and stuff like that. And for those of you out there that actually probably do remember, if I did send you messages over YouTube a couple of weeks ago, like, let's say about a month or so ago, I did send you because I because my game design class I had back in this, this past winter, the like winter class I just got off of, basically, um, we had the right blogs, which are normally. He wanted video game like review blogs. With our third one, I was like, I asked him if I could do this because it was an interesting topic over online. A lot of people were talking about it, and I wanted to get my word on my thoughts on it. Um, and he said fine, and I did it. And I asked a ton of people over YouTube and even on IGN, and even people from the actual class, if they would actually like, see the idea of what characters would they actually play in the game and stuff like that. And I got a whole lot of votes, and votes were crazy. A ton of characters were voted for, and um. And when I went through actually my actual blog, I included a lot of statistics in there. I try to include the votes I got for yes, maybes, no kind of thing. I include comments from people, the best comments I got, both for and against it. I include top vote for character lists and everything. And, that, and I talked about my ideas, my thoughts on the matter, why, and why, why I thought about the idea. And then at the end, I put my own roster in there, which is what this video is going to be about, too. I'm going to tell my roster in here. The roster is a little rough though, it is a little on the high side, it's about 40 to my characters with some DLC characters added on to, which was just like, you know, to add characters in, because I, I didn't really know who to put in, and this was like due, and it was kind of, like, at the end, somewhat rushed a little bit, and I like, had to count all the votes and everything, because I am going to do a video about this in the future where I design like a cover for it, this could be like one of those game design videos when I finally start doing that, I'm sorry I haven't done any of those, all. I haven't done any of those, but I will eventually get into that, hopefully it'll be soon, but this will be like one of them. And I get my roster on the on the matter and everything like that. But um, I'm going to talk about this roster right now and why I chose certain characters and everything. And it will be improved upon. I have it written down right here in this notebook. Um, there's about like 40 some odd characters and with DLCs about from each side, which obviously will be worked down when I do a fixed version where I go for a more realistic. This is somewhat realistic, but it's a little on the high side, not too high, but on the high side. I think there should be at least 36 some odd characters in the roster, about 18 or so per side. DLC is debatable and everything, more likely no, but you know whatever. But this is more of like a trying to be realistic, but also yeah. in my way a fantasy type roster. Um, for the Nintendo side, I have Mario, Princess Peach, Bowser, Link, Princess Zelda, Ganondorf, Wario, Pit, Cat and Falcon, Isaac, Saki, DK, Kirby, Pikachu, Mewtwo, Fox McCloud, Samus, Lil Mac, Wolf, and Marth. Um, for Capcom side, I have Mega Man Original, the original Mega Man, Zero from Mega Man Zero, Bass, Ryu, Chun Li, Abel, the guy from Street Fighter 4, um, Arthur, uh, Morgan, Captain Commando, Spencer, Dante, Mike Hager, Phoenix Wright, Amateras, uh, Scorpion, Jill Valentine, Strider, how are you? Um, Beautiful Joe, Leon, and Felicia. And the characters I had for DLC, I put like five each one, just, just to toss the DLC characters. I put Ness, 
for uh, her Nintendo side, NES, Lynn, Crystal, Mad Knight, and Luigi, and for um, Capcom side, I put Edward Falcon, Wesker, Cody, and Ryu, and Nina from Breath of Fire. And that roster is, you know, it's a little on the high side, but I can do a few fixing there, add a few new characters, maybe toss a few characters in there, and it will all turn out good when I finally can put in, uh, when I come up with more realistic roster. This is like a realistic, but somewhat, like, what I really want to see happen, kind of thing. But, um, I, I did, I don't know, when I did it, I tried to pick a different character for each series in a franchise. Kind of like what they did with like Street Fighter and like Tatsuno vs. Capcom and other like, versus kind of series. Like in Tatsuno vs. Capcom, they had Alex for representing Street Fighter 3, Rai representing Street Fighter 1, and Chun Li representing Street Fighter 2. Um, I did that with this one. Rai represents Street Fighter 1, Chun Li represents Street Fighter 2, and Abel's gonna represent Street Fighter 4. Um, I came to Mega Man. Um, Mega Man. I was thinking if I wanted to do Mega Man X or Mega Man Original, but then I ended up deciding to do Mega Man Original since it's more Nintendo oriented. And he represents the original series. Bass represents, I didn't put in the original Bass, I put in the Bass from Battle Network. Um, I put zero for Mega Man Zero, like I said. Um, not all the franchises I was able to do this, because when it came like Felicia and Morgan, they're all like from the same game pretty much for the most part like that um from like and i picked different versions of link zelda and gandorf for mine gandorf was the twilight princess link was going to represent skyward sword and princess zelda was going to represent ocarina of time um wario is like wario wear but it's also his original wario off it would be a character i'm kind of assuming in there like when it came to pikachu and mewtwo i guess it also i tried to i don't know it's like how they, like how Capcom usually does it, like when they take a certain Marvel character from Marvel vs. Capcom inside to like make it like a certain Marvel character is an equivalent of a Capcom character like this. I submit, I chose certain Nintendo characters of being a Nintendo equivalent of a Capcom character and like a certain Capcom character is being the equivalent of some Nintendo character, pretty much. Like since Mario's the head of Nintendo and pretty much in a way Mega Man's the head of like you know, Capcom, they're pretty much the top there. And right below them is usually Ryu for Street Fighter on Capcom side and Link for Legend of Zelda on Nintendo side. They're like there too. That's why I put them next to each other. Like like the count like the Capcom's Felicia like Capcom's Peach is kinda like Felicia in a way and like in a way they're like the cute princess like, you know, this type of character thing, even though Felicia's not really a princess or anything. For Bowser Bowser and Bass are basically the villains of their franchise, so I kinda put them together. And Abel, I never played Street Fighter 4, so I don't know if Abel's a villain or not, but have kind of, he's like the counter thing to Gandalf in a way. Um, Chun-Li and Zelda are like, like each other right there, pretty much. Um, what else? I kind of, I mean, of course Captain Falcon and Captain Commander, they're both captains, so they're kind of like the equivalent of each other almost. Or, um... Wario and Arthur, they're like the joke characters, so that's why they're next to each other. Pikachu and Amaterasu, they're like animal type characters, so they kind of fit with each other. I chose, and, like, and Scorpion from Saturday Night Slam Masters, kind of like his electric power, and Mewtwo's kind of like psychic power, so it's kind of like even right there, and they're both villains in the same way. Um, Fox and Jill, they both have guns, so it makes sense for them. Same thing with Wolf and Leon, they both have guns. Um, Lil Mac and Beautiful Joe, like, fighting with their fists and everything, but originally I didn't have Lumac on the roster, it was Ness, so Ness was the original counter character to Beautiful Joe, but I switched it, but it still makes sense because they kind of fight, like he fights with his fists, but all these powers, and Lumac has like come that kind of power kind of thing too, so they kind of fit with each other there. Stamus and Strider, like just for being cool characters, pretty much in a sense. Kirby and Phoenix Wright, because they both use like their mouth, Phoenix Wright is an Attorney and Kirby sucks and using his mouth. It's kind of like, a, like their mouth kind of relation. DK Mike Hager because Mike's like a Hager's like a big hairy wrestler, like you know, pr um, governor kind of guy, guy, mayor pretty much, and Don Kong's an ape. So and they both power, they're powerhouse characters, so they fit right there with each other. Pitt and Morgan not so much, although Morgan's like the devil and Pitt's like an angel, so it kind of fits there as well. And um, for Saki and Dante, they both have like a sword and they both have like guns. And when it comes to Isaac, Isaac's more the nature, more natural type power. Like, like he uses earth 
type powers. Spencer is more like industrial. He has a robotic arm, so it's kind of like the industry and mechanics versus the Earth, pretty much. And the, they're kind of fighting against each other. And that's basically. And none of the DLC characters really they even deal with each other, pretty much. I just tossed them in there. But really, this is just the roster I tossed in for school. My roster will be improved a lot when I actually try to do a video specifically for YouTube instead of my blog for my class. So that's really all I want to do with this video, give my thoughts. And my thoughts are, I really want to see a Nintendo vs. Capcom. It makes a lot of sense. People can go on and all about saying Nintendo doesn't fit in there, Nintendo's too kiddie or casual or anything. But it's... They, and they go on how dark Capcom is. Oh, really? I never knew Okami and Mega Man. And, you know, and um, Ghost and Goblin Schools and Ghosts. And, like, even Street Fighter. And, like, a lot of other friends. And Phoenix Wright, even. How they're so dark. Just because Capcom has Resident Evil, Devil May Cry, and Dead Rising, which are their darkest franchises, pretty much. And even Monster Hunter. Doesn't mean stuff like Mega Man and all that are dark, too. Mega Man... And you know, like Captain Commando and Super Ghouls and Ghosts, all those franchises are as dark as your typical Nintendo franchise. Nintendo has their, their Nintendo franchises can be pretty deep and dark as well. They're not all cutesy and kitty. Um, Legend of Zelda is about monsters trying to kill Link and Link trying to save the world from Ganon or so some evil that's trying to take it over. Aliens are trying to kill Samus in the series. She's fighting for her life. Pokemon are all about battling each other. People say that Nintendo characters have no relations to fighting. They don't have like any... They don't have no fighting experience. And people are completely forgetting about Smash Bros. That's a whole idea about them fighting each other. And, but ju not just that, but in their actual franchises. They actually fight each other. Like I said, Pokemon battle each other. Lil Mac's a boxer. You can't get a lot more fighting than that. Um, Link's fighting monsters to save Hyrule, or whatever he's at. Mario's fighting Goombas and Bowser people to save the princess. Captain Falcon's a bounty hunter outside of his races. Samus fights aliens, because she's a bounty hunter as well. Fox and Wolf are part of... They, they fly ships and kill, like, all other people. And they even battle on foot, pretty much, with guns and everything. S like, Isaac is from Golden Sun, which is an RPG. You battle them, other monsters and characters. Saki, you fight tons of robots and aliens from, like, Sin Punishment. Pit, the same thing with creatures from there. Pokemon battle each other. It's just, and Fire Emblem is all about war. Advanced Wars is all about war and killing the other army and protecting yourself. And the whole idea of a war setting. How does Nintendo not fit in? Nintendo is perfect for it versus Capcom series. Nintendo is perfect for the idea. Nintendo is like the most wanted entity that people want to fight Capcom. It makes a whole lot of sense. But yet people go off and how... I don't know. It makes no sense, really. It really doesn't. And that's basically what my video is about. And to end off the video, Post in the comment section if you agree with me or disagree with me on this. Would you actually like to see a Nintendo vs. Capcom? What do you think about my roster, which I will put up on annotations whenever I get the chance to? So, if Casey didn't watch the entire video, you can always see it probably on the sides here or whatever. And, thumbs up, thumbs down, give me your thoughts, and have a nice day. See you guys in my next video. Peace.